Hello, my amazing artist. It's Mrs. Drost here. And I just thought I would take a second to, a few minutes to read you a book called Katie's Picture Show by James Mayhew. This is the story of a little girl named Katie who goes to an art museum with her grandma. I don't know if any of you have ever been to an art museum. Um, if you've been checking out the website, there are some virtual art museum tours. You can uh, virtually through your computer walk through an art museum and see some famous artworks hanging on the walls and sculptures and stuff. Um, when you go to a museum, there's usually a few things you have to do. Um, unless it's a children's museum, if it's a regular art museum, usually you have to keep your hands to yourself and you can't touch anything. And they usually will have little signs at the bottoms or somewhere around the picture that says, do not touch, please do not touch. Um, you can't use food or drink inside the uh, museum, and you just have to look with your eyes. And um, But Katie here is going to go on an adventure to a museum, and we're going to see what happens. Okay. All right. So here is Katie and her grandma, and they're going into the museum. This sign, I don't know if it's backwards for you, it's backwards for me right now, but it says no entry. That means you should not be going in this door. But look, Katie and her grandma are going through this door, and look, Katie's pushing her grandma through the revolving door. Have you ever been through one of those revolving doors that goes round and round and round, and sometimes you can get stuck inside them? I have. Okay. Katie and her grandma, let me turn this so you can see the pictures a little bit. Katie and her grandma were in Lond London for the whole day. When it started to rain, grandma said, let's go into the museum and look at some pictures. So in case you didn't know, London is in England, okay? Katie took grandma in through a big revolving door, the one marked no entry, of course, spinning her around and around at least seven times. Katie had never been to a museum before. It's wonderful, she said. I need to sit down for a moment after those dreadful doors, gasped Grandma. You go and look at the pictures, Katie. Be sure to be back in half an hour. Do you know how long half an hour is? 30 minutes. The first few rooms Katie came to were full of people. Katie didn't like crowds, so she went on until she found an empty room. Grandma, she's going to find a spot to sit while Katie looks around. Oh, that room looks empty, doesn't it? Look at all the art on the walls. Okay. There were lots of pictures in the room. Katie didn't know which one to look at first. She stopped in front of a painting of a horse-drawn cart. So there it is. This is called The Hay Wayne by John Constable, she read. And there's a sign that says, please do not touch. Why not? Said Katie, poking a fairly dirty finger at the picture. To her surprise, it went right through the frame and into the painting. Oh, this isn't a picture at all, cried Katie, astonished. It's real. Then she looked carefully around her and she climbed right inside the painting. Oh, look, she's inside the painting now. This is fun, said Katie. She marched off through the mud toward a cottage. A delicious smell of cooking came through an open window. Katie found a freshly baked apple pie cooling on the windowsill. She helped herself to a rather large slice. It was such a good apple pie that she ate the rest as well. Hey, that was my supper, shouted one of the men on the cart. His dog started to bark at Katie, and she thought it would be best to leave. She ran back to the picture frame and climbed down into the museum. Katie peered around the doorway of the next room. There was a guard sitting next to the door, but he was asleep. Okay. 
Katie went up to the painting that she liked the best. Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres, she read. Please do not touch. But of course, she did. Hello, I'm Katie, said Katie to a lady sitting beside a mirror. Enchante, replied the lady. I am Madame Motissier. What a lovely dress, said Katie. Are you French? Mais oui, replied Madame Motissier. Do you know Madame, uh, mais oui means why yes. And very lonely. We sit here being looked at, but no one has ever come inside before. Now, you will stay for some tea, yes? Please, said Katie. I have some cream cakes too. Now, un lump or du? Asked Madame Motissier, pointing to the sugar bowl. So, un means one. Du means two. Toi, said Katie. How many spoonfuls of sugar did she want? She wanted three. So they talked and talked, and they enjoyed themselves watching the surprised faces of the other visitors to the museum. I have not laughed so much for years, said Madame Motissier. She was quite overcome. She had to use her fan to calm herself down. But Katie laughed so much that she spilled her tea. It was her fourth cup all over Madame Motissier's dress. Oh, you clumsy child, shrieked Madame Motissier. Katie, who had also managed to get mud all over the carpet, decided to leave. Hmm. Where did the mud come from? The other painting, right? She helped herself to another cream cake, climbed out of the picture and back into the museum. Katie wandered into another room and went straight to the biggest picture. There it is. Pierre Auguste Renoir, Le Pere Pluie, she read. Katie knew that that was French for umbrellas. Then she noticed a little girl with a hoop in the painting. You see the little girl with the hoop right there? I wonder if she'll play with me. She thought, please do not touch, said the sign. But once again, she did. Now she's in the painting. There she is. Would you like a cream cake? Katie asked the little girl. Merci, she replied. So merci means yes or thank you. You can play with my hoop if you like. Soon they were having quite a game, bowling the hoop to one another. All the other people watched from under their umbrellas. But Katie hit the hoop too hard and it flew right out of the picture. It bounced on the floor and disappeared into another painting. And the little girl started to cry. Whoops, said Katie, I'd better try to find it. She jumped out of the Renoir painting and ran over to the other picture. Ooh. Henri Rousseau, she read, Tropical Storm of the Tiger. Please do not touch. But Katie couldn't see the hoop, so she climbed over the frame and into the picture. Oh, there she is inside. In the jungle. Katie found herself in a wild jungle. The wind blew and it was raining very hard. She was rather afraid of the tiger, but he was even more afraid of her. He ran off into the trees and Katie couldn't see the hoop, so she wandered off to explore. There's the tiger running away from her. Ooh, crocodiles, huh? Eventually, she came to a lake full of crocodiles. They snapped their jaws at her, but Katie just laughed and climbed up a banana tree where they couldn't reach her. She helped herself to a banana. Just then, Katie saw the hoop hanging on a branch. She pulled it down and then found her way back to the picture frame and jumped into the gallery. 
Katie threw the hoop back into the Renoir picture. Here it is, she said. The little girl was very pleased. They waved goodbye to each other and Katie ran off to the next room. Exhibition of modern art, read Katie. All the paintings are lent with kind permission. Do not touch. Katie looked at every at a very different picture. Casimir Malevich, dynamic suprematism, she read. It would be fun to climb up into that big triangle, she thought, without checking to see if anyone was watching. She climbed inside the painting. When Katie reached the big triangle, she climbed up to the top and slid down the other side. Wonderful, she cried. This was the best picture yet. But Katie couldn't stop, and she fell farther and farther into the painting. It was like falling into a great big mouth. Help, she cried. She was very scared. She didn't want to be eaten by a piece of modern art. Katie heard a shout. Hang on there. It was the guard. He threw a rope into the painting. Katie held on to it with all her strength, and the guard pulled her back to the picture frame. That will teach you to obey the signs, he said. Sorry, said Katie, who was covered with splotches of paint. I don't think I'll ever do that again. After she had cleaned herself up, which took quite a while because the splotches of paint were so sticky, Katie thanked the guard and went to find her grandma. Katie was, or grandma was snoozing on a comfortable chair. You're late, she said when Katie woke her. I hope you had a nice time. Oh, yes, said Katie. I really like looking at pictures. It had stopped raining, so after Katie bought, bought postcards of her favorite pictures, they went to find a cup of tea and a cream cake. The end. So I thought that would be kind of a fun uh, story to read, especially if you're taking uh, virtual tours of museums at home. It's kind of like you're climbing into the paintings themselves. So kind of like Katie did. So I miss all of you and I hope you're well. See you later. Bye.